Smooth the corners and edges of our blade, but try to not make it too sharp. Here you can see the blades already cut, and we will start assembling them to our aluminum profile to give them strength and help us attach them to the generator that we've made. Turn the blade upside down and draw the lines where the profile will lay down. Make marks where you plan to put screws in, and we will drill some pilot holes that will help us keep the profile aligned with the lines we drew. Use a small drill bit that's equal with the tip of the self-drill screws you will use. I'm using a piece of wood underneath my blade, so I won't make any holes in my table. Now, I will use a bigger drill bit, which is equal to the cap of my screws. I'll drill some incomplete holes with this drill bit that will help the screw to burrow down in the blade a little bit. Here you see the finished holes in my blade. Take some sandpaper to smooth the holes and ensure your screws will get inside easily.
Align the profile with the lines that we already drew. I will use a hand vise on one to keep the profile in place. I will start putting the self-drilling screws in. This will ensure both pieces staying together. After I finish my first windmill blade, I'll start on the others. If the screws are not burrowed completely, use the angle grinder to smooth the caps. Here you can see the almost finished blades. I will measure the end of each blade and see if they're equal. We need to make sure that the blades are mounted at the same length to get a smooth rotation when the wind blows. If they're not the same length, cut the excess. We will start mixing the putty to cover the holes. After it's dried, we'll use sandpaper to smooth the putty and the blades will look really good.
After you've sanded all the blades, start painting them. I'm painting them white, but you can use any color or any model you want to make them look pretty in the wind. We're outside now to paint our blades. If you don't have a ventilated paint room, this is the best option you have. Apply two or more layers of paint, and don't try to put on so much paint on the first go around because it'll end up dripping. Here we have the finished blades, and we can start mounting them onto our generator. I will mount the first blade here to show you how it's done, but the rest you'll need to mount on after you fix the generator on a high point, on a tower, or at least two meters off of the roof of your house, to ensure that you have a steady wind and your wind turbine will spin constantly. Use a drill bit to drill a hole into the steel profile and the aluminum profile of our blade. I'm using 6mm screws with washers and nuts to keep the blades in place. And there you have it, your own wind turbine that can produce up to...